This is horrible. This is probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. Tua is having such a good year. 3-0. Obviously, I mean, not now. They got, they just got beat because Tua leaves the game with a head injury. Okay. Lily landed, got smacked to the ground head first, and was holding his fingers up and his, I mean, he had brain trauma, literally brain trauma. Coming off a game last week that he had, couldn't even walk, couldn't even really walk after having pretty much a concussion and still played in that game last game, last week. Then this happens, and not even on concussion protocol. It was said that he had a back injury, a back injury, and it turned out to be it was actually a head, head injury. So the Dolphins need to be held accountable for this. Like, if this was my quarterback and this fucking shit happened, I'd be pissed. I'd be really freaking pissed off, and I'd be looking to firing everybody. No joke. Like, you, you don't mess with a man's career like this. The quarterback doesn't ki- give a crap. He's going to want to play regardless of how hurt he is. He's going to want to play. Okay? As a professional, to protect your players, to protect your future investment, I would think that... You would try to just keep him out of this game. But you know why they didn't keep him out of this game? Because they were 3-0, and they were on a roll, and they just kind of, you know, just put it under, you know, just, just, just swiped it under the rug and thought that nobody, you know, it would never be noticed. But it is now. I, I don't, I hate injuries in the NFL like this, especially if they're life-threatening. Now, now, Tua made it out of the hospital. He got discharged from the hospital, so he's fine. Uh, he's fine. He's moving. Okay, great. He's fucking moving. Like that makes a difference. Okay, just because he's moving, it doesn't mean a damn thing. Okay, the guy could could be have uh, memory wipe. He could be blacking out in his brain. Because trust me, like I've had one concussion before and a light one, and it's no joke. You can't. You got to take that seriously, especially now that you have multiple concussions for head trauma and. I mean, that's it. I mean, Teddy Bridgewater is going to be the starting quarterback for weeks to come. I don't see him coming back next week. I mean, I don't know what it's going to be. Is it going to cost them draft picks? Is it, are they going to get fined and cost them draft picks? I don't know what the NFLPA is going to do, but this really pisses me off because I've seen, like, back in high school and college, I've seen a lot of guys get hurt in really messed up ways, and it sucks. And when it's because of the coaches not protecting and the medical staff not protecting their players and allowing Tua to go play because of this greedy fucking team that wants to win another game because there's no doubt about it. They swept this under the rug, and I don't blame Tua. Like, Tua, no matter if you're a quarterback, the team needs you. No matter how you're feeling, you have to go out there. I mean, Tua's playing for a contract. I get it. He's playing to prove himself this year. The front office has done as much as they possibly could around him to get to make him as, as successful and productive as possible with the weapons around. So I totally understand that. But when it comes down to your player, your future investment, you have to protect him in every way possible. If he has to miss a couple games, then let him miss a couple games. It's like they're worried about the record and they're worried about them winning this year more than the health of their quarterback because – Sooner or later, you're not going to have a healthy quarterback. God forbid this guy's in a wheelchair. God forbid, okay, this guy's in a wheelchair the rest of his life. And and thank God he's not going to be, as we all know he's not. Like, th- this shit is so covered and so dirty and so disgusting. I can't stand it. I hate it. It's just, and I'm not even a Dolphins fan, but you don't want to see this shit happen. I don't care if it's a rival. I don't care if it's a player that I hate. Nobody deserves to be to be put in this situation. I mean, from last week when he played and he was like falling on his face. I mean, he was pretty much got hit in the head and then he's walking around and the guy can't even like stand up straight and they still let him play. Like, who does that? Who does that? Like, how does his family feel? How does to his family feel? I'd be pissed. I'd be walking. I'd be walking. I don't even know what their field is called, but I'd be walking in that office that mo- the next morning be like, you serious right now? Like, you know, I, it's it's just insane how, how things like this happen. It really is. Uh, it, it really sucks. Tua did not deserve that at all. And I understand he wants to play, like I said before. But that is some foul play fucking bullshit that I heard from that Miami would put him in this position 
because they got greed because they were greedy fucks and they want to win another game. You know, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, let's just, you know, sweep, you know, eh, you know, it, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I mean, it's not even like it was Monday. It, was, it wasn't even a Sunday to a, mon- a, a Sunday game. It, you literally played Sunday and you played Thursday night, you, not even four or five days in protocol. I mean, not even in protocol. Obviously, he wasn't in protocol because they said it was a back injury. So somebody lied. Somebody swept it under the rug and pretty much just wanted him to play because all oh, the Dolphins are three and zero. They're on a roll. We can't afford to sit him. So eh, you know, if, if Tua wants to play, just let him play. We're not gonna. And then this happens, and guess what? That whole entire front office, everybody's gonna be investigated. Everybody's gonna be investigated for this. And they want to know why. And they know there's a lie. There's something going on because they definitely swept us under the rug. They definitely lied about this to everybody's face. That head coach was pretty much like, oh, we watch, we look out for our players. And I was, I was like, I saw the quote and I was like, wow, that, that guy is going to be eaten alive by not even the Dolphins fans, but to his family. And God knows this man could have been dead tonight, last night, whatever you're watching this video could have been dead. Could have been dead, could have been brain damaged, could have been a vegetable the rest of his life, whatever the case may be. Nobody deserves it. Football is not even worth it. It's not worth it if that's how you're going to be treated in an organization that just... <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. Like they, they didn't give a fuck about him. They literally wanted him to play. They literally wanted him to play just to be called a 3-0 and right now. And they're on, like I said, they're on a roll and, you know, why not? You know, well, whatever. You know, whatever. You know, they figured he'd win this game Thursday night. Then he he'd had some a couple extra days, you know, a few extra days to rest. And they're like, I'll let him play this game. He'll be fine. And they'll, he'll rest for a few extra days and, you know, whatever. Nobody will know about it. So it is what it is. I might not know all the um, I know I might not know all of the information on this. But from what I saw last week to what I saw on the Thursday night game against the Bengals, and now the news coming out and, you know, he's discharged. He's great. He can move around. Oh, yeah, he's moving around. That's fantastic. Oh, he can move his body. Great. But what about his fucking head? Is he dizzy? Is he is he is he blacking out? Is he, Trust me, it's no joke. Concussions are no joke. Like you can the more concussions you get, especially you have no time to go into protocol and heal yourself for a week and make sure your head is right. And, you know, I, I just, Dan, I, I don't, I don't even, I can't even really talk about it. It's, it's like, so it's really upsetting. It's really upsetting because he's such a great player. He's had such a great year and this is a big prove it year for him this year. And I don't care what your fucking player says. I don't care if he's a starting quarterback, the starting fucking kicker. I don't care who he is. Okay. You can't make this guy play. Not make him play. They, they, he, Tua wanted to play and they let him play. They didn't stop him from playing. You're going to ruin your quarterback this way. You're already ruining his health right now. God knows what we're going to find out the next few days on this whole entire situation. Teddy Bridgewater is going to take that team down into the fucking grave. And that's just the truth because Teddy sucks. Okay. Sucks. And that's just, that's just what it is. And they lost. They're three and one now. So, Dolphin season's probably done with, probably, and it sucks because of one stupid mistake. Look, if you can afford to take two out for two weeks or even one week, take them out. You took them out Thursday night, they lost big, big friggin' deal. Okay, then you, he has a few extra days to rest, you start him the next, the, the week after. But since you were a greedy fucking pricks and let this guy play, it doesn't make you look good. Someone has to be fired, somebody... Somebody has to be held accountable. It's not just the coach. I mean, definitely the head coach. There's no doubt about it. The head coach no, The head coach gets all the information about the medicals. Okay? Once the medicals are done, there's no way they keep them, keep them from the, you know, did, did, did the medical guys lie for Tua? I mean, whatever the case is, fire their fucking asses. That, that's, that's the way it should go. Because this man could have fucking died last night. Literally. Could have died. I'm not, not kidding. It, it, it has happened. It has happened before in real life. Now, maybe not in the NFL, but it's happened in real life before with certain, you know, uh, people that get big head trauma injuries during sports. It, ha- it has happened. That's why these rules, as much as we bitch about the rules about hard-nosed football and these stupid things happen, but it's just, man, it's not even like this is like, it doesn't matter what position you are, man. It's like, I mean, I mean, this is like the, your future, man, like, you literally took your future and you, like, risked it last night. You literally were just like, oh, well, I'm just going to put him in the game. Why, why not? Hey, there's no big deal in it. 
You know, just fucking bullshit. And like, I'm hoping that he doesn't have like anything wrong. Like he can have, he can have like these brain. I don't even know what it's, what the actual doctor term is for it. He can have these symptoms where he blacks out all the time, or he has memory loss, or just just you know what I mean. Like it's no joke. Once he gets that, goodbye NFL. That's it. Goodbye. He will never be a quarterback ever again. I pray to God. I'm praying to God that he's going to be fine. And you know what? It's like this other side of me that's just like, these coaches didn't give a shit. They made him, they let him play because, because of a fucking football game. Not because he should sit out for his health. Because of the Dolphins and they're being greedy fucking assholes that want to win another game. You understand? Like, this isn't a joke. So, it really pissed me off. Like, it really pissed me off about that. Because I saw that clip from last week of him, like, getting up and he's just like, he can't even walk and he still played. I mean, what what the hell is up with you guys? I mean, that's ridiculous. They deserve to be mutilated by the fan base, by the NFLPA. I don't, I don't care what it takes. That's that's just if that happened to my quarterback, oh man, the videos that would come out on this, forget it, forget it. Like I, if this happened, I'm not even gonna say it. But if this ever happened, if if I was a Dolphins fan and this happened, trust me, I, I'd probably be ten times worse than I am right now. But it's still, it's still shitty. Still a shitty feeling to to know that you know, and hopefully two is good. Don't don't be greedy over because the Dolphins are playing fucking well and like they they just let him play. As much as Tua probably said I'm fine, they they should have fucking stopped him and said no, you can't fucking play. Like that's it. You know they're they're trying to get this guy a, a new contract next year for next year. They're trying to make this guy one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the league with all the weapons they have put around him, and you want to fucking sacrifice his health and sacrifice. Dying on the field for this stupid fucking game. Stupid. Value your life over anything you fucking do. Value your family over anything you fucking do. And that's all that matters. Trust me. That's just the truth. My job is not more important than anything else. It's important, but it's not as important. Having a job is important, but you know what I mean? It's not the most important thing out there. My health is important. My family is important. Trust me. Is he going to enjoy his family, enjoy his time that he has when he's sitting in a fucking wheelchair or he's, you know, fucking can't remember what the hell he had for breakfast yesterday because his head is all fucked up and he can't play in the NFL anymore? Is that going to be good? No, it's going to be really fucking bad. Okay, so Mike get crucified for this video, whatever the case may be, but it's fucked up. It's fucked up. So that's all I really got to say, guys. Nothing crazy, but that was a shitty thing I saw the other day. Last night was horrible. It was really bad. So, all right, guys, you guys have a great day and uh, value your you value your health, value yourself, uh, make smart fucking decisions and don't be greedy because that Miami Dolphins front office and that medical staff should be fucking ashamed of themselves. So that's all I got to say.